and that's especially true when it comes to understanding black history. And that's the goal behind the podcast, Black Belt Voices, hosted by two amazing black women, Adina White and Kara Wilkins. And our podcast actually just got a big shout out from Vanity Fair. And ladies, thanks for joining us today. I want to know um, about the podcast. Give us a background of what's on the podcast and if people want to tune in, what they can expect. Sure. Um, the idea for Black Belt Voices started after the 2016 election, actually. Uh, in 2017, we launched it as a blog initially to talk about Black Southerners, because we felt like Black Southerners were often left out of the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, so it was to show the diversity of the South and also the diversity of Black people. Um, so we, after writing one story, we realized that audio was the best method to put these stories out there. And we kicked off our podcast in the fall of 2019. Um, and in January, Apple featured us, and then with the recent news, we got featured again, and that's we got some good attention off of, off of that. That's amazing. So this is something that you guys have only been doing, really, as far as the podcast goes, for just a few months. So it's really taken off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been less than a year, and I would say that none of us anticipated this level of um, kind of people wanting to hear from us or hear from other Southerners um, about their story. So we've been very happy about the reception and, and honestly overwhelmed. We get people all the time. I know I get family members that are like, why didn't you tell me about this? And I'm like, I, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is that draws people to the podcast so much? I think it's a combination of two things. I think, I think one is um, having a passion for it. Like, we didn't seek out to do this because we wanted to be hosts and we wanted to host a podcast. We wanted to tell stories. And Kara is a communicator. She has a background in communication. I have a background in communication and PR. And my sister, Katrina Dupins, also has a background in broadcast journalism and PR. So we, we're storytellers, you know, by nature. So that's what we wanted to do was tell stories. And the second reason I think it took off is because of the format. Like my sister, who I mentioned, Katrina, because of her background in broadcast journalism, she's a great editor and producer and she makes it sound good so it's not just some girls talking you know at length about stuff it's very polished and edited and i think those two things make it a good listen for people yeah so tell me about one of your most recent podcasts like give me some subjects that you guys have recently talked about yeah so um most recently as adina mentioned um apple podcast reached out to us they had previously been listening to us during our normal season um which technically ended in march of 2019 and we took a little bit of a break but with um george floyd and the uprisings and everything that was happening with the country you know we felt that this would be a good time for us to just lend our voice to the conversation charles blow of the new york times writes White riots have often historically targeted black people, while black people have rioted to protest injustice. On either side, racism is the root. And so um, one of our most recent podcasts uh, features Dr. Brian Mitchell from um, University of Arkansas at Little Rock. And he kind of gives a history of policing, police brutality, and kind of gives some context as to how people uh, arrived, how we arrived to the 2020 riots. And so um, that, if you, I think if you would listen to that podcast, it would give you a general idea of how our podcast normally flows throughout the year. Some topics, of course, are not as heavy. Some of them are a little bit more light, but more so just trying to educate people and help people understand Black Southerners better. Yeah. I love the fact that you guys are from right here in central Arkansas and you're doing such big things and getting recognition for it. And uh, yeah, keep, keep doing it. It's going to keep growing. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right. So make sure you check out the podcast. Again, it's the Black Belt Voices. It can be found on their website. You can also go to iTunes or anywhere that you listen to podcasts, I would assume.